we're gonna show you the hierarchy of Muay Thai and how knees can beat punches. You ready? Part of facing the, the boxer with the heavy punches is remaining calm, having a strong defense, keeping your guard up, and knowing when to strike back. This is a quick drill that you can use when you're trying to develop yourself or you're trying to develop your students and how to deal with those high intense situations. We're gonna start off with the drill of learning how to use knees against punches. Hands are up. I'm training him, his hands are up, I throw a shot, boom, I throw a shot, boom, I throw a shot, boom, and then he, boom, go, boom, 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 very nice, you see the way he took that millisecond, he didn't wait too long, but as soon as I stop throwing, boom, that's how you do it, so you block, 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 as soon as you get that millisecond, as soon as he stops, you have to hit it quick, because you don't have that big of a window, he's a boxer, so you have to be patient, you have to be calm, Hands up, and you have to see. You have to give yourself room. So you bang, 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 and then he bang. That's it. Right. The next strategy that we're going to give you to use your knees against the puncher is, I call it, the pin and knee. Sounds just like it is. He's pinning, pin. Okay, this is what I mean when I say pin, meaning I can't do anything. Pin, and then he knees. Knee. Uh. One more time. Just to give you the fundamentals of it. As you know, we like to keep this proverbial line at the middle of us. He's going to pin it. Bang! He pins it. He pins it. Yes, my hand is pinned. I can't do anything right here. Look the way he's turning me. His lead foot is outside of my foot. And then he goes this, just to knee. Knee. Bang, bang. Easy enough. I'm a boxer style. You still want to have good defense. Look what he's doing. He's giving himself room. He doesn't want to engage so close with the boxer because you don't want to meet his energy. He wants to punch your head off. You want to use knees. Long knees. Come on, look, he's giving himself a little room, giving himself a little room. I got to get close. Bang, 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 anytime. Uh, that's it, good. What are you thinking of when you're timing that? So whenever I'm going, I'm blocking, I'm seeing how long it takes him to throw the next jab. So mm. the jabs, one, two, three. See, it took him three seconds to throw it. And then once I do it again, one, one two, three. He does it, and then now I know, because he did it back to back. And on the third one, Two, three. Yeah, five. Very nice. So you always want to be conscious and be thinking about what you're going to do next. Don't think too hard, though. That's very good, Tito. So now when you're applying this knowledge and making it practical, when we're practicing these moves, you're going to give your student um, a little bit of a little bit of off counting, meaning sometimes I might throw it at two seconds. Sometimes I might throw it at three seconds. Sometimes I might throw it at one second. OK, you have to use the proper timing. Not only timing, you can look at cues of their body. Does you ever hear me when I say, stop telegraphing it? Sometimes you'll see them shaking it. You can, you can time them like that. Sometimes you can see them drop their shoulder. You can time it like that. So you always want to be weary and conscious of little subtle cues that your opponent is giving off. I'm going to give you a two second count or a three second count. I want you to decide. And I want you to still use movement, use fades, just give yourself a little room with a tight little defense. Still going to apply the first drill. So boom, here we go. Yeah, very nice. When you do this drill, because this is very important, when he's pinning that lead hand, look what this hand is doing. Okay, I can't see. He's pinning me down this way. I can't throw a cross. I can't throw an elbow. Okay, I can't do anything. I'm a boxer. I want to throw punches. He's, he's taking off half of my weaponry. 50% of my weaponry is gone right now because he's pinning it. And he's pinning. All right, so that's the IQ that we want to have. That's the mindset. I have to keep a strong guard, and I have to make sure that I pin down his hands. That's paramount. But to make it not so difficult when you're first learning it, because you know you have to crawl before you walk. When you're training your student, do an easy count, and eventually they'll be able to time it without you even saying anything. Okay, so we're gonna give them an easy count. Here we go, same, same. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. One, eight, five. Uh, that'll work. Okay, but push so now you have the jab this time i'm going to throw the jab cross listen to the timing you watch the timing also all right one one thousand two one thousand take your time one one thousand two one thousand one one thousand two one thousand no son block block and then throw it we're doing the jab cross with a two second count so tito if i'm throwing it one one thousand two one thousand when would you decide to attack as soon as you get back, so one second maybe. Yes, that's timing. Very good. Timing beats power. Timing beats speed. 
Even if the person has more skill, technical skill than you, if you have better timing than them, uh, I put my money on you. Samroy, Samroy. I gamble on you. So I, boom, boom, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, one, one thousand, two. There we go. Bang, very nice. Again, so this is how we're gonna train them. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. And then it's up to them when they feel comfortable to walk in and pin and throw that knee. But you make sure that you pin. One more time. Bang, bang. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. One, one thousand. Yeah, five. Very good. Sometimes when the guy is being aggressive with his punches, you know, it's a game of bravado, a game of machismo. Who's stronger? Who's been training harder? Am I right? Yes, sir. So I don't want to just let this guy walk me down with his punches and I'm moving back the whole time. Sometimes I want to meet his energy and let him know I'm just as strong. Matter of fact, I'm stronger than you. So with the knee style and he's want to punch, 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 you walk forward, block, 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 and you give it to him. Pause. Block, 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 knee, block, jab, knee. Easy enough? Let's start off slowly. And this is how you will develop the ability to walk forward and block and throw those knees. So he's walking forward. I see. Bang, bang. Come on, he's still walking. And then e I Yeah. And sometimes you don't even have to grab because he's a boxer. And sometimes grabbing can be a little bit risky. Okay, so you'll keep your guard up. And as soon as he, as soon as he stops punching, you take that opportunity to throw a long knee. Mm, a long knee. Yes, a long knee. So I, thong, thong, thong. You can, yeah, yes. But make sure that your hands are above his. I'm walking, thong, thong, thong. Look, thee. And look, bang, 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 bang. He stopped punching. His hands are here. As long as my hands are higher, I win. I'm good. Knee up. Good. Again, uh, I don't care. Thong, look, thee. I block, 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 and knee. Long knee. Long knee, walking forward, block, block, block. Sometimes you have to grab. Sometimes you don't have to grab. Sometimes you do grab. Sometimes you don't grab. Easy enough? Yes, sir. Tabernacle. So we, bang, bang, look at that. He's blocking, blocking. I'm punching, 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 punching. Yeah, very nice. He cl closed the distance. Close it, yes. Yeah, bang, there we go. He blocking, look, he blocking the jab. Bang, bang, bang. Eee, that's good. That's how you blast the puncher going forward. Come on, again, you see guys, he's walking with a square stance because a lot of times these punchers, they have very good leg kicks. Walking forward, I dab, dab, and I boom. Sometimes you even float with the, there you go, you float with it. Bang, you see, I keep kicking, bang, and then you, yap, yap, b. To get the full version of this video and also early access to all of our content, Click the link in the description or the pinned comments and get locked into the KMA Muay Thai online training system. Also, click this next video and enjoy more of the KMA Muay Thai training tutorials, long form content on the YouTube channel. We know you're going to enjoy it.